Local and state police are investigating after the body was discovered burned on the side of the road early this morning. The victim was found in the area of Prescott Street. As the investigation now continues, we're hearing from neighbors who tell us what they believed happened. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods is live in Attleboro now with the very latest. That's right. Well, Attleboro police tell me that the body was found just three feet away from this roadway here in this grassy area. They're also saying now that the body was actually still on fire when the officer discovered it. Attleboro Police and Massachusetts State Police continue to investigate this evening after the burning body of a man was discovered early Tuesday morning. I should have been more shocked than I was. It was around 2.50 this morning when an Attleboro police officer patrolling the area off Prescott Street discovered the body. The officer got out initially, uh, thought it was a brush fire, subsequently walking up to the, uh, the wooded area, uh, saw the body um, and uh, the adjacent uh, fire in the area. So. The, uh, I can confirm that the body uh, was burnt and uh, the, it, it was on fire. As of now, the identity of the victim is not being released to the public, but as investigators try to determine a cause, neighbors here on Prescott Street have their own theories. We've had some trouble with drug dealers down here, so I thought that was probably related. And Attleboro Police confirmed to Eyewitness News that they have increased patrols in this area for that exact reason. The street is adjacent to 95 in exit 3, so it's convenient for people who are going to meet up and exchange drugs to get off the highway, meet in this quiet residential area, do the drug transaction and leave. So the residents brought that to our attention and we were proactively addressing that issue. Now we are still waiting for the autopsy results as well as for the victim's identity to be released to the public. But coming up new at six, we are hearing from one neighbor who says he was woken up by this early morning activity. Live with the mobile newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News. Developing news, investigators say they're still trying to determine the identity of the burned body found on the side of an Attleboro Road early this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods spoke to a neighbor who says the commotion woke him up. She joins us now live from Attleboro with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. That's right now the Bristol DA announced this afternoon it's very unlikely they'll be able to ID this victim today. They say it may take some time. <laughs> Attleboro Police and Massachusetts State Police continue to investigate this evening after the burning body of a man was discovered early Tuesday morning. I should have been more shocked than I was. It was around 2.50 this morning when an Attleboro police officer patrolling the area off Prescott Street discovered the body. The officer got out initially, uh, thought it was a brush fire. Subsequently walking up to the, uh, the wooded area, uh, saw the body. As of now, the identity of the victim is not being released to the public. But as investigators try to determine a cause, we are hearing from a neighbor who woke up to the early morning activity. A spotlight went on, and um, usually sometimes certain cars will trigger it off. Didn't really hear too much. Gary Padula tells us he did not get a good look at the vehicle, but Attleboro police confirmed they have increased patrols in this area in recent weeks because of other suspicious activity. It's convenient for people who are going to meet up and exchange drugs to get off the highway, meet in this quiet residential area, do the drug transaction and leave. So the residents brought that to our attention. Now again, we are still waiting for those autopsy results as well as the identity of this victim to be released. You can stay with us on air as well as online for updates. With the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.